deeply hurt by the cowardly assassination of the parish priest by two terrorists who claim to be acting on behalf of ISIS. I have met the family of the priest and I also wished to speak to the person who had been taken hostage. The persons uh, Vic, who were taken hostage have expressed their pain, their sadness, and their determination to understand what has happened. We wanted, through this visit, to also to express our support for the security forces, the police force, who intervened very rapidly to prevent even more deaths and injuries, and they saved the lives of the hostages. I would also like to pay tribute to the first responders, the firefighters, the emergency services, the ambulance services, who, by intervening very rapidly, were able to evacuate the most serious injured and the more likely injured to save their lives. We are facing another ordeal. It's a it's the rest, the threat remains very high. And after everything we've experienced in recent years, uh, uh, ISIS has declared war on us. We must fight this war by all means, in line, of course, with the rule of law, because we are a democracy. What these terrorists want is to divide us. And today, after the death of this priest, for all the Catholics of France, I am thinking, my thoughts go to all the Catholics of France. I would like to express their support. This evening, I will be receiving the Archbishop of Normandy, who will then speak to the population. Tomorrow, I will receive all the faiths, all the faiths. We must be together. The Catholics have been struck today. All the Catholics have been struck, but also all French people feel concerned. That's why we must show great cohesion. We must stay together. We must be a bloc. Nobody must be able to divide us. The anti-terrorist prosecutor's office has been charged with uh, carrying out this uh, investigation. The prosecutor will then tell us what has happened. And today, we must become aware if necessary, of the fact that the terrorists will uh, stop at nothing. So our determination is to stop them, and we will mobilize all the resources, all the laws, all the means. Recently, through the deployment of law enforcement forces, the French must know that they are under threat. They're not the only country. Germany is also under threat in other countries, but our strength depends on our cohesion. Thank you.